it's been very neck and neck the whole way. And so a lot of drama involved, a lot of people on both sides of this thing. All right, so the vote to bring the controversial casino to Slidell could be in some trouble. A trial date was just set to determine if the nearly half billion dollar venue will even make it on the ballot for St. Tammany voters. WDSU's Aubrey Killian, he's live in Slidell. And Aubrey, early voting starts this weekend. The big question, is that still going to happen? Hey there, Travers. So this casino, it could be built right behind me. Early voting, it is still on, but the vote on December 11th, it could be up in the air. Casinos just aren't good in general. John Raymond doesn't want this casino to come to town. He claims the vote is unconstitutional and necessary steps were not taken to put the measure on a ballot. The developers disagree. I'd say uh, this casino issue is definitely one of the most controversial, if not the most controversial issue I've seen here in over 20 years. And so this is a big deal and it affects a lot of people. A judge first rejected his lawsuit. The Circuit Court of Appeals reversed that decision. So today, the judge set two new court dates. On Tuesday, November 30th, we're going to hear the motions for summary judgment. If the judge rules on everything at that point, it could come to an end and either side will probably appeal at that point. Uh, if we win, then it would be taken off of the ballot. If anything's left after that hearing, then that'll be set for trial on December 3rd. And at that point, if we win, then it's no vote on December 11th. And uh, they might appeal that as well. I think it'd be great. Jason Center supports this casino and is voting early this weekend. And they're going to be adding, uh, you know, Lazy River and, and, you know, facilities for the people who live on their boats and... No, it's a win-win, and you're, it's, I mean, location, location, location. You were only 20 minutes to the city. He says the parish desperately needs the thousands of new jobs and millions of dollars in tax revenue. They're trying to delay the inevitable. I mean, Slidell is not the sleepy little town it was 10 years when they took this vote. A lot of people have moved in from uh, New Orleans and, well, from all over the place. And, I mean, it's a great place to live, and I think it's going to bring a lot a lot of good jobs, a lot of other good restaurants and stuff like that that uh, we need. So take a look at your screen if you can. St. Tammany Parish President Mike Cooper's office sent a statement today saying, in part, we are asking the Louisiana Supreme Court to review the First Circuit's decision prior to the election and are requesting the trial court wait until the Louisiana Supreme Court renders a decision before conducting a trial on this matter. And in another big surprising move, Drew Brees, of all people, announced that he wants to open a steak restaurant at this casino if it is approved. Election day, that's December 11th. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.